Hello, I'm Dave Ray. I'm Professor of Carbon Management and Education at the University of Edinburgh. And for this uh, wee segment, I just wanted to talk about this topic, which is described as uh, integrating systems of agro production and forest. So for me, that's agroforestry, which is basically um, producing food with trees. Um, and it's actually uh, a system of food production which goes back as long as we've been um, farming and before that actually in terms of uh, forests and woodlands providing um, humankind with food uh, and shelter obviously um, and that still goes on in terms of uh, even natural forest ecosystems are crucial for the food supply of many people around the world, many communities. What we've seen increasingly though uh, through um, modern agricultural techniques is actually clearance of woodlands and forest, um, cultivation of the soils for more intensive uh, crop production and livestock production. And that kind of on the surface looks like it's more productive because you're getting rid of these pesky trees which are shading the ground and taking up space and you can grow the crops you want and your, your cows can have all the grass they want. In reality, what we've seen in systems around the world is actually that's that's kind of throwing the baby out with the bathwater in terms of sustainable and resilient food production in many cases, because the trees um, offer really important kind of uh, ecosystem services, uh, but also really important agricultural services in terms of productivity. So a couple of examples. One would be um, tea and coffee production. So tea plants in Assam, for instance, in India, are a huge part of the economy. They grow really well. Uh, Assam tends to have um, lots of rain, which is great for growing tea. Uh, but one of the things uh, that we're seeing with climate change is the climate in Assam is getting more extreme in terms of the wet and dry seasons. And that poses a real risk in terms of um, the livelihoods of the tea growers, the quality of the tea, the sustainability of their businesses. They're faced with um, really heavy rainfall uh, in the wet season, which means you actually get weaker tea. So you get a, a more dilute taste uh, from the leaves that are picked. Um, obviously, there's also a risk in terms of lots of nutrient loss from the soils. What they also face is um, much more intense dry seasons and very high temperatures. And those high temperatures can, um, can kill the tea uh, bushes um, and certainly damage the crop. And they put, obviously, the workers a lot of risk. So what's happened in uh, a lot of Assam is the incorporation of trees into that system. So the trees serve the purpose of giving some shade. So in those most intense parts of the day, uh, during the, the kind of hottest times of the year, um, they're able to, to limit the temperature rise, particularly in the early afternoon. So they give some resilience to where climate change is pushing um, that kind of tea growing envelope. The tea, Plantations also make use of the trees just in terms of the, um, the litter fall that comes down from them. So uh, you're getting a kind of an extra source of mulching for your plants to reduce water loss. Um, they can it themselves produce an income if we're using fruit trees or you're using kind of selective logging so you can get timber out of there as well. Then you get this added value, I guess, of, um, of having the trees integrated into the system. And as we look across loads of crops actually around the world and livestock incorporating trees can give these multiple benefits so often for livestock as well it can be shading to give them protection from the hottest parts of the day um, but you've also got real benefits in terms of the trees themselves giving you um, protection from severe weather events like storms so we see this um, quite a bit around the world including here in Scotland is you might have your what looks like a featureless um, grassland for your sheep and cows, but actually around the outside of that, there are lots of trees. And that is to slow down the wind, give protection from the animals from severe weather. And so it's integrating trees into the farming landscape. Um, and that gives you the, these benefits in terms of production, but also in terms of carbon sequestration. I guess another element of incorporating um, agroforestry is around uh, pollinators. 
So one of the things that we've we've seen in recent years is a real risk to pollinator numbers. Uh, so uh, the bees that we need uh, to pollinate most of our staple crops around the world are uh, under siege from disease, from climate change, from habitat loss. And so by creating these more mosaic um, landscapes in terms of food production, incorporating trees and shrubs, um, actually that can uh, boost the numbers of pollinators and actually then boost productivity uh, and again give us more resilience. So yeah, uh, I guess agroforestry for me is something which is nothing new. We've been doing it since, um, since humans really started um, farming and before then, uh, but it's something where actually the good practice around the world is showing this is one way where we can mitigate, so cut emissions by uh, reducing fertilizer inputs and sequestering carbon but crucially it also gives our food system more resilience uh, from uh, the impacts of climate change.